Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the second. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. What do we have? What do we have for around the second? Keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Could resonate in a couple days, could resonate today, could resonate tomorrow, could resonate in a month from now. If you're looking for a pick a card reading, go ahead through the pick a daily vibe list in the playlist you know the daily vibe playlist you pick out any one i guarantee you it will probably fit for you so what do we have for a message today page of pentacles seven of cups so there's a new enterprise here, right? There's a new opportunity here, and there's a lot of options. So somebody is considering their options. Hmm. This is studying. You have somebody here that may be studying. They may be reading something. They may be um, trying to learn something, and maybe they need to learn something new. There's a lot of options. There's an element of confusion. What should I do? I feel like there's laziness here as well. You know, this is like being lazy. I feel like there's a lot of laziness. In both these cards I see laziness. Uh, not really wanting to do anything. You know, you may be feeling lazy, you know, thinking about your options. There is a new opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is unsure. They're unsure of what they want to do. Probably investigating. They could be investigating at least one of these options. Um, we do have a pentacle down here, which is a golden opportunity. So somebody does have a golden opportunity. They're getting a golden opportunity right now. But they're, they might have to get up off their butt. You know, they might have to get off their butt and do something about it. It's like there's an opportunity, but you can't just sit there. You've got to get up and do something about it. Hmm. This opportunity that is coming in is going to require some work. You are not going to be able to sit there and do nothing. Let me just bring that up a little bit and then I'll bring it down. An obstacle needs to be ad, ad, removed. Somebody is staying in their comfort zone, right? I just want to be comfortable. This looks very comfortable. So we have somebody here that just wants to be comfortable. You know, and they need to step out. They need to step out of their own way. So somebody is definitely in their own way. They don't really want to put in the effort, but it is going to take effort. It is definitely going to take effort. Hmm. There could be some self-deception here with the Eight of Swords reverse. This is like lies, right? Lying, lies. Lying to themselves even. You know, just laziness. That's what I see. Complete laziness. It's safe right here. It's comfortable right here. I don't have to do anything. You know, there's a new opportunity, but I don't really want to work for it. If it's comfortable here, even though it's not comfortable. So somebody's in a situation where it's not really that comfortable, but it's safe and, you know, it appears to be comfortable, but... It's some sort of illusion. I mean, because the Seven of Cups is about illusion. Three of Wands, reverse, not prepared to do one thing. We got somebody here that is, I'd say, lazy and complacent. And I know I'm repeating myself, but. You know, not going to do anything. Not going to do anything. There could be fear in the way. You know, or just plain laziness. But, um... <laughs> Three of Wands reversed. Not on the same page. Let's 
somebody's causing their own delays. You know, they're causing their own delays. There's a new opportunity right here. And there's a lack of foresight. We have somebody here that is not seeing the opportunity that they have. They're just not seeing it. They're not seeing it because, I don't know, maybe they're self-medicating. The Seven of Cups could be overdoing it. Somebody may be overdoing it. They're trying to do too much or they have so many choices or they're confused or they're just lazy. <laughs> I really see a lot of laziness here. But anyhow, um, not seeing the opportunities in some sort of mental turmoil or, you know, I don't know if they're self-medicating or just don't have any desire, no ambition. Could be thinking negatively as well. Five of Wands reversed. No, don't want to. I mean, this is, I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I don't want to get engaged. You know, there's, there's, uh, just tired. We have somebody here that is really, really, really tired. Huh. May not want confrontation as well. Might just, I don't want to deal with anybody. I don't want to deal with anybody right now. I'd rather just stay in my safety zone. So we have somebody here that is, is choosing not to really put in that much effort. They have an opportunity that they're missing. They're missing an opportunity because they don't want to. There's competition around. It's like, ah, to hell, let the competition have it. Competition, you know, the competition will take the opportunity. So sit there on your ass and let the competition, ta let the competition take it. Go ahead. Anyhow. Um, tower. So the tower, the tower is a major shakeup. We have a major, major shakeup here. There could also be a battle with a battle that is coming. Okay. Or maybe there was a battle in the past. There was a full scale, scale battle, which has caused somebody to be lazy and complacent. It's like, ah, to hell with it. I don't want to do that again. You know what I mean? It's safe right here. Fuck it. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but interesting. I didn't, I wasn't planning on swearing. I mean, I don't know. Um, wow. Now that tower is um, a rude awakening. It is a rude awakening. That is uh, the universe forcing a change. So get prepared for a forced change. Get prepared for a shakeup or a dismantling. Okay, I feel like we have somebody here that has been blocking their own success with that Eight of Swords reverse because of their mindset. You know, their mind hasn't been in the right place. They've been making some poor choices probably, being really, really lazy by the looks of things, not seeing that they had opportunities, um, wasting time, I believe. Um, I think that they... We're dealing with some sort of battle in the past or some sort of competition which has made them, you know, think that they, uh, maybe they think that they can't succeed or that, you know, they, whatever. Page of Pentacles is the need to focus. Somebody really needs to focus. They need to get grounded. They need to get their act together. Somebody needs to get moving. They need to get working. It's not going to be easy. Pick yourself up. Do something about it. You know, get in the get in the fight. Get it. Put get that. Find it within you. You know. Anyway, I think that somebody is going to get some sort of. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they're going to get a kick in the ass or something with that tower moment. That's that is a literal literal kick in the ass. Anyhow, the tower. Um, Yeah, there could be a battle of some sort because the Five of Wands is a battle and the Tower can be a battle as well. We have somebody here that is sitting around being lazy and they may get some sort of, I don't know, kick in the ass or rude awakening of some sort. They're sitting around being lazy, you know, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to sit here and pout and um, while this opportunity sits around and I think about it, so somebody's thinking about an opportunity. They're not doing anything. And now we have this major storm. Okay, this is a storm rolling in. It is. Uh, 
Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is an awakening, so somebody could get a wake-up call of some sort, you know? Now, the Nine of Pentacles is uh, independence, it's self-sufficient, it's strong, it's capable, it's a very determined individual who has built up their success. This is somebody that is, is, well, this is freedom, the Eight, eight of Swords reverse, so that's freedom. Somebody could be broken free from some sort of illusion, you know, just saying. Because this is freedom. From a false sense of security, from a false foundation, there's going to be a shake-up. This person that is sitting around being lazy is about to get a rude awakening of some sort. Yeah, they may lose something of value to the competition. Just saying. Anyhow, because this is a hard worker. The Nine of Pentacles is a hard, hard worker. Hmm. This is somebody that is enjoying life. It has a lot to be grateful for and is grateful. The tower is behind this person. This person has already experienced the event that changed them and made them strong. So we do have a strong individual who has already picked themselves up from a catastrophe. Okay, so this is a catastrophe. This is the person that that's behind them. So that's behind them. This person is still feeling some sort of pain. They need to remove themselves from a situation that is a catastrophe. So we have somebody here that needs to remove themselves from this false sense of security. We have one person that already has this person, and this person is enjoying life. So once this person gets off their ass and removes themselves from the situation that they are in and faces the confrontation of change and breakdown and decides that they want to start over, they will, uh, this is a reward, okay? It is. That's an increase in money. It's an increase of abundance. This person has picked themselves up from rock bottom. So we have somebody that has picked themselves up from rock bottom while we have somebody sitting over here moping. So anyhow. So this moping individual has a golden opportunity right now that they probably lost to competition in the past because poor, poor, pitiful me. They may have let fear get in the way. Fear of, you know, failure. Or they just didn't want to put in effort. They may have even built up something false because of illusion. I mean, this is illusion and this is false. And, you know, when, when you try to build an illusion, you know, that shit don't last. So, anyway... Three of Cups reversed. So Three of Cups reversed. This party is over. Somebody has been overdoing it. That's for damn sure. We have somebody here that is emotionally unstable. Okay. They may be sit, they may sit around and gossip or bitch about other people instead of getting up and taking care of themselves. There's a lot of competitiveness here. We have there's, there's there's some sort of competition. We have some a lazy individual who wants to compete, but they don't really put want to put in the work. So that's very interesting. Um, this is parting ways, losing friends, losing family, people not wanting to help because we have an individual that is is staying in a place of. I feel like it's pity you know I just I, I do I feel like it's pity you have everything inside of you and I don't need the magician card with the nine of pentacles this is a strong independent person who has the skills to succeed 
but you will have to go down that path. You will have to put in effort. It's not going to be easy. The page of pentacles all about work. It's starting a new endeavor. It could be starting a new business, starting a new enterprise. This is a new opportunity. Somebody's going to be given an opportunity to start from scratch because that's what the Page of Pentacles is. But it will require you stepping outside of your comfort zone and getting off of your ass. And that's not going to be for everybody. But. There is there is a long term stability here with the nine of pentacles. This is some this is a business owner. It's a business owner or a very independent and independently owned and operated. The tower is behind this person. Okay, so we have this independent person that is successful because they experienced the tower moment and they got their ass up. Anyhow, Three of Cups reverse is parting ways. Somebody may, you know, be dealing with friends or people in their life that don't support them. You know, they don't support them. And you may, you may need to remove those people from your life. Sometimes you do. Especially if they're feeding you fantasy or feeding you illusion, telling you everything's all right. Give you a little pat and everything's going to be okay. Instead of saying, go get a job. Do something about it. A real friend or somebody that really cares about you is going to tell you to do something about it. They're not going to coddle you. Anyhow, this is lack of foresight. This party is over. This is parting ways. Could be We could have some enemies disguised as friends. There could be a third party situation here. We could have somebody that is crying over a third party situation. They didn't see it. Now I'm changing the story, but I'm just saying this is lack of foresight. Third party situation. Uh, wow, 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 wow. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody of value. I know my value. I'm not going to stay in this disaster. I'm going to put in effort to bring my own success. Even if it means starting from scratch and stepping outside of my comfort zone, I will be successful. And I know that I'm going to do it myself because there is nobody going to help me. Somebody has gotten themselves involved with a false sense of security. This is false beginnings and this is a false sense of security. And they have stayed in that situation because it's comfortable or not. It, it looks comfortable, but, you know, it's safe. It's safe, but it's not really comfortable. There's certainly no fulfillment there. No emotional fulfillment because we don't got any cups in this reading. There's no there's no emotional. We do the seven of cups. That's confusion. That's fantasy. That's that's not reality. So this is definitely not reality. So somebody is in a state of illusion. You know, it's false. Okay. It is false. So somebody is some in some sort of false reality. You know, they, and they've stayed in this false reality because they haven't wanted to put in effort to deal with starting over, you know, the deal with, you know, getting back in the game, perhaps, you know. There's an opportunity right here. Open up your eyes. Set a new goal. Page of Pentacles is about setting goals, laying foundations. Using common sense. Investing. 
even though it's not going to be easy. Invest in your future. Don't just sit on your ass. Two of Wands. Now, Two of Wands is about a choice. You can stay right where you're at, or you can focus on the future. This is, this is where you're at that point where there's a decision that needs to be made. You have options. You have options. You have two paths right now. You can, you can decide to stay right where you're at, where it's comfortable, or it's safe, where it's false, where there's no growth, where you're stuck, where it's mental turmoil, where there's conflict, where there's fighting, where there's pettiness, or you can choose to go your own way and be strong and abundant. What's it going to be? It will require you parting ways from somebody that is holding you back. Choose wisely. This is a choice. Somebody may be choo choosing. This is a choice. They're choosing. You know, and they're being told right now. They're being told by, you know, a higher power, right? An angel or a God or something. They're being told. They're, they're hearing it. You're hearing it. You're hearing it. Okay, you are. You're hearing it, you know. It's time to go. 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 Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You can do it. You can do it. Good luck.